So Caroline's just said to me, what are you actually doing tonight? I said, I don't really know. It's a Monday night. I'm, you know what I'm like? I'm, I'm just sort of in my motorhome getting a few. She said, get, can you get sorted out in this motorhome? Get a few things done? So I'm kind of like, yeah, all right, no worries. This, uh, <laughs> so what I'm actually doing is just sorting out my sunnies. So uh, I don't know uh, if anybody's the same as me, but um, I kind of like get a lot of inspiration for road trips with different styles of sunnies so i've just i've just laid all my sunnies out in here um oh and i i've got another pair i've got another pair and what this is all about is um just uh how can i try and explain this so um these ones here, the blue ones, were um, for the Scotland trip. Um, so they looked a bit sort of like that Scotland colour, Scotlandy kind of thing. So if you get my feeling, <laughs> meaning on that one, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so the black pair are the, the badass ones. So they were for kind of like Berlin, East Germany kind of styly, a bit, um, yeah, a bit black and badass there. Okay, and then I ended up with a pair, which is, because I love my Oakleys, so I don't know what you guys like sunglasses make-wise. I've tried Ray-Bans and stuff like that, I tend to um, break them. Um, so, yeah, I've ended up, I love my Oakleys, Oakley sunglasses, I've been a like dedicated fan. I, yeah, I, um, I've i broken quite a few pairs, admittedly, because I jump in water with them on. Um, as they get a little bit older, you tend to uh, maybe abuse them a little bit more than uh, you should do. But uh, they've got to be used, you know, jumping in the water, jet skis and all the rest of it. But anyway, um, so yeah, in the summer, I did end up with the, this pair of like uh, Prada. Does the devil actually wear a Is it the devil? <laughs> um, yeah, something like that. But, um, yeah, so uh, they were kind of like the summery. But, okay, they are quite nice in the snowy, sort of like ski, snowboardy, styly. Um, but, anyway, in the meantime, I did stumble across these. And uh, it's a job to actually, as soon as I sort of spotted the colour of these... They look a bit kind of like mountains, snow, look at that, yeah, look at that, look, you know? Um, yeah, so I spotted them and I'm kind of like, they could be a road trip pair of sunglasses for me. And uh, I think they're going to be. So hopefully they're going to um, do the job for our forthcoming road trip. And uh, look. Look what I've got hanging up on my... <laughs> I've got... Uh, so Caroline's going to do her nuts. She says, you're, you're just not getting nothing done. So I've got my little bar... So I've got my old school map on the wall there of um, down in Bavaria. Uh, here we go. Look, there's Stuttgart and uh, right down in the depths of deepest Bavaria. So hopefully I'm going to be wearing these sunglasses down there and maybe we're going to see a little bit of a sprinkling of snow over Christmas, which will be epic. So, um, yeah, just just uh, thought I'd um, share with you that, guys. And, uh, um, yeah, continuing um, on, uh, so I've got a table from um, the weekend <laughs> of stuff that I'm supposed to be sorting out. And uh, so I did end up um, getting some more concentrate eucalyptus. Um and then I ended up, I don't know if you've seen the recent video, uh, and we've got the this silicon seal lubricant for the toilet blade for the Thetford. Um, so we're going to um, give that a bit of a, a dousing. Develop for the use on toilet seats. Seats? <laughs> I'll have to read the instructions on this. Anybody know uh, what this stuff is? Silicon spray, especially developed for the use on toilet seats seal lubricant i'm gonna have to read the ins i thought it was for the blade seal lubricant all right silicon spray 
Okay, right, I'm going to have to come back to that. I'll have to uh, get on the Setford website of it. Anybody, can you, um, sub anybody that knows about this stuff, can you send me a message and tell me what the hell I do with it? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, so, yeah, I've just brought my, um, I've been topping up my spare bulb kit. Um, so I've got this old uh, box that I've had for donkey's years. I'm going to, um, um, yeah, tuck that away again in a minute. That's my spare bulbs because I had a little top up the other day. And uh, what else have we got? Oh, so we ended up with our also this little um, brush. So in the uh, so this is the awning rail brush. So I'm going to tuck that away in my motorhome somewhere. And then uh, then when I need to, when the, when the weather's a bit better, we're going to uh, get out and um, give it a little uh, little try clean out all them little profiles in the um on the uh, the awning and uh, that'll be good and um oh so i've ended up with some more of these um uh storage little boxes uh yeah these like it look perfect organizer set of three set of three here yeah uh let's have a little look let's, let's unwrap this and see what we've got here take that off there and uh, yeah so we end up with um two little boxes like that look and then you end up with a longer one uh just um well i was thinking um possibly for the sunnies for the sunglasses maybe a little um organization for the sunnies so i'll have to uh, see what i can um sort of this kind of scenario kind of like that look uh, yeah, I'll have to have a little look because um, they've started getting a bit um, random. Don't think that's going to happen somehow. But um, yeah, but uh, yeah, they're just general, general little um, bins, little storage boxes that are uh, like stackable. They stack up quite nicely, look, in like that. And uh, yeah, there we are. Right. They're nice. That's all cool. So uh, yeah, can't have enough of them. But uh, I'm going to um, I'm going to pop them up on my on there for the minute and uh, just try and sort that out a little bit up there. And uh, then I've got another stack of them. These are the square ones. I think these are the same as we used in our um, bathroom cabinet set of four. Uh, so these are a bit more for your taller trees, although they're general general purpose um, spoons, look, coasters, stuff like that. So they're quite nice, but um, yeah. So I, I like these, they're really super quality, stackable, they feel nice, and uh, yeah, really good. So that's all cool. And oh, what else was I gonna show you guys? Oh, something else we ended up with. Um, so we ended up with, we keep meaning co uh, to get some nice little salt and pepper um we have got these kind of um what are we using at the moment these well we've ended up sort of using these kind of things um the mill kind of we've had a bit of that uh, but occasionally we just want regular salt and pepper um oh, i want to tell you what we've sort of ended up doing is having these big you know sort of like big ground pepper and then you end up with too much on your on your beans and stuff so uh, so we've ended up with a couple of nice little, uh, these are quite nice. Let's have a look at these. These are coal and mason, look. And uh, yeah, should we get them out? <laughs> there they are, out of the packaging. Look at that, they look nice. I was just uh, actually, I glanced at one of my little storage bins. So nearly, nearly, um, nearly. A little storage bin like that. Cool, these are nice because they, they've got the little um, like rubber bits on the bottom as well. So they just stick. Look at that, look. That's not going anywhere. That's quite nice, actually. That's quite nice. Yeah, lovely. They just like stick on to that surface. And uh, yeah, they're not going anywhere, look. They're perfect, they are. That's lovely. I'm happy with that. But um, yeah, we'll see what we can do with these. But um, they look really nice. They look really good quality. So we'll um, see how we fare with those.
So I think I'm going to go with the little salt and pepper in one of them little boxes. I might cut a little bit of that uh, anti-slip mat and they don't seem too bad. Um, we'll have to see how they go. I might just get a bit of anti-slip and just put a little square in the bottom of there. But they are just going to sit up in my cupboard. I've made a nice little slot there and they sit there, which um, I've got my coffee capsules. I've got my other peppers and garlic and all the rest of it there um, the other boxes so they are going to sit in there look how easy that's going to be pass me the salt and pepper please dunk how good's that going to be on the table lovely that's sorted that job out i think that sorted our little salt and pepper issue out once and for all. Right, that's that job done. Right, anyway, back up to the front, these little um, these little block connectors. Um, so I've had my head torch in the box um, ever since I've had it, all right? And I'm gonna, I've got the charging lead in the little box as well. Um, so I, I wanted it so I can, access it quickly a bit more um, instead of opening the box and it's all the, the leaves all wrapped up so this little bin here is going to be a perfect little addition and i've just been what i'm uh, trying to do is get these little boxes up here um so then uh, look if i need to take that down i can just access it really quick um i'm just organizing the the sunglasses are in the bags and they're going to go in a storage bin there. I've got my other little, um, I've got my coasters, I've got my fridge magnets, um, other little bits and pieces tucked away up here. So the organisation up the front is looking really nice. And uh, these are just so easy to remove. So we're just uh, making it accessible and uh, tidying everything up so it's easy to remove. Well, that's what it's all about tonight. Um, so I am progressing quite nicely. Right, that's that. Okay. Anybody know what we do with that? <laughs> Keep Right, okay. I've got one, I've got two bins left for a minute. So uh, I'm going to have a little look around. I've got a lot of rubbish. We've got another big pack of these to go in the, the uh, anti-cleaning wipes to go in the floor because um, you can't have enough of them. And... Uh, Oh, there's one last thing. Right, so, so just before I go, because I'm going to uh, try and wrap this up tonight and uh, get the hell out of here. Um, so, our, I've got a mat down here. I've had it for ages. Karen said, do some of that mat as well. So I've got a mat, all right, that I want our step mat. Um, I know it's a little bit fussy. Is it a little bit fussy? It, it's got gaps around it. It moves around a little bit, and we, we've got a couple of marks on it. To be fair, and I was um, so there's so it goes in tight against this edge, but um, there's probably about an inch gap that way. Can you see that? How much it moves? So I'm aiming to manufacture myself out of this bit of mat here. Um, a new step mat. Oh my goodness me, let's get the uh, scissors out of there and we're gonna go like that. So look at this mat. Look at that. How nice is that one? Non shed doormat. And uh, yeah, uh, non shed. Uh, is designed to be weather resistant all year round. It dries quickly and will not fade. All right, made in the Netherlands. So I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna get my um, template out of the other one and I'm gonna put an extra inch on it. So I'm gonna have this as a, um, a doormat for the wind. So when we're stepping in with um, snowy, wet boots on, um, on this trip, um, I want to try and keep my uh, that mat nice and dry, keep it pristine, okay? So, uh, there we have it. Um, yeah, this was a little job that... So I'm going to just carry on and do this job um, in this moho, So because uh, otherwise the, uh, the mat's going to... I want to use this mat up, and uh, I'm going to have, a, I'm gonna have a, a fair whack left over, so I want to get this job done before we leave, and then I can um, just get this mat in position then i'll have uh, another piece of mat in left over um okay well guys i think that's it from me tonight i just thought i'd just um show you what i'm doing in my motor i'm on a monday night um yeah and uh in a minute i'm just gonna go and rip the video 
and uh, Carolyn and say, what have you actually amounted to tonight? And I was like, yeah, we've um, sorted out storage bins. Uh, I'll, I'll let her watch this video, then she can see exactly. So, uh, hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Um, don't forget to tell me about that seal lubricant, if anybody knows about it. Um, what's your best sunglasses on uh, trips? What's the best sunglasses you wear on uh, motorhome driving? Um, any other little bits of advice that you can give me, because I need help. <laughs> <laughs> no, and we'll catch up with you guys mighty soon. I'm getting excited now because it's we're literally we're getting close, getting close to this trip. Look at my map hanging on the wall over there. We're going to be down here somewhere. Okay, take it easy, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye.